The little girls are warming up. Their badminton training is about to start with an inspirational athlete in this sport, Egypt's champion, Hadia Hosni. Her face is always lit up with a cheerful smile as she instructs the youngsters. When she was near their age, though, Hadia was focused on playing squash, horseback riding and rhythmic gymnastics. It wasn't until she turned 11 that she discovered her badminton power. I practiced for three weeks and then I was a, a semi-finalist in nationals under 12 years old. Uh, and the years after, I was uh, top uh, Egyptian under 12 year, 14 and so on. Uh, since that time, I, uh, I continued my badminton and, and stopped uh, other sports. I love badminton since I played it. It uh, combines actually all uh, sports together. It's a racket sport. Uh, it needs flexibility, agility, uh, speed. She's the first gold medalist in badminton and helped the national team to win over South Africa for the first time this year during the African Championship. The first gold I have uh, got uh, was in 2010. It was the first in history for, uh, for Egypt to get an uh, African gold medal. And this year I was honored to get the team event uh, also a gold cup in African Championships, which was the second in, his in history as gold, but first uh, as a team. Hadia is ranked the 85th in the world, 46 worldwide in world championships, and in the mixed category, she's helped to put the Egyptian team in the top 50 list. Egypt will be playing this August in the World Badminton Federation's World Championships, and for the first time in the country's history, its players will be competing in three events, women, men singles, and mixed doubles. Hedia says Egypt could have a great future in badminton, particularly with its upcoming junior players. I can see a lot of juniors and um, also some players in my academy. Hopefully they will be soon African and Arab champions as well as uh, top world uh, athletes. Um, I think we do have uh, really good uh, juniors who can later on qualify, but we have to motivate and support them not only on court, but um, also uh, mentally we have to be uh, uh, behind their back. The Egyptian champion's success goes beyond sports. She has a master's from the UK in medical bioscience and currently she's preparing for her PhD in pharmacology while teaching in the British University in Cairo. Adeline Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.